Tom Kippen. And we had some snowy football fields across Upper Michigan tonight for Friday night football. This is from Jake Larson and this is at Marquette Senior High School. You can see the field covered in snow and there was actually a good burst of snow that came through Marquette or the Marquette area between 7 and 8 o'clock tonight. And also here you can see the uh, football players there out in the snow playing some football. Now. Earlier today, out on the Straits of Mackinac, we actually had a water spout here, and this is from the Mackinac Bridge Authority, their Twitter page. Here's the Mackinac Bridge, and this is at the toll booth here, and you're looking southward towards Mackinac City, and then here's the Mackinac Straits right there. There's your water spout right there, and that can happen as colder air comes, or colder air comes over the relatively warmer waters. You get that temperature differential, and you get some wind shear there, and that's where you can get some water spouts, and usually the the peak time for water spouts in the Great Lakes is usually the fall, mainly in from late August through September on through October, but they're more noticeable across the southern Great Lakes, not so much the upper Great Lakes. Let's go to our local three radar network here and you can see that we do have dry conditions starting to move on in and in fact it's going to be a quiet night. The last of the rain and snow is on off towards the east now affecting the eastern UP and as we widen out the view here you can see we got a break in the precipitation but we do have some snow back on off towards the west across the northern plains and this is our next storm system that will be heading our way as we go into the daytime on Saturday and some of it could linger on Sunday. Gale warning for Lake Superior, storm force wind warning for Lake Michigan, and this is where we could have some wind gusts over 50 knots and some waves out over the open waters of Lake Michigan over 15, over 16 feet. And you get those high waves, that stronger southerly wind, and it's going to push that water on shore. So if you live along Lake Michigan and the northern part of Bay, the Bay of Green Bay, Little Bay to knock, Big Bay to knock, we do have a lakeshore flood warning that is in effect for Delta County Southern. Schoolcraft County and also Mackinac County. So three things to know for this weekend. It's a good fall storm system for this weekend and it's going to bring us rain and also wind and also some wintry precipitation. Let's look at the winds here first. They'll be picking up the pace after sunrise on Saturday and we could see some wind gusts tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening along Lake Michigan over 40, over 45 miles per hour. And then as we go into Sunday morning, it's a west to northwesterly wind that could be gusting over 30, maybe over 40 miles per hour for the Keweenaw Peninsula and also east of Marquette and that could cause some lakeshore flooding as well. And then as we go into Sunday and into Sunday evening, look for the winds to become lighter. Here's our Upper Michigan weather outlook. We actually dry it on out for the overnight hours tonight, but the clouds, they're coming back tomorrow morning. And then as you can see, as we get to early Saturday afternoon, late Saturday morning, you can see rain moving in. Could start off as snow and the ground could turn a little bit white here across areas west of Marquette, so just be aware of that. But any precipitation goes to all rain by Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. The bulk of the precipitation moves out of here, and then we're looking at some rain showers or some snow showers by Saturday night, and that continues as we go into the daytime on Sunday. So what's ahead? It's a weekend fall storm system with lakeshore flooding along Lake Michigan Saturday, maybe along some parts of Lake Superior on Sunday with strong winds pushing Great Lakes waters on shore and then Saturday night on into Sunday some of the rain showers could mix in with some snow showers officially at the weather service today as of five o'clock 42 was today's high 44 downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard and a trace of rain or snow temperatures today were around 40 or the 40s and as we look at our current temperatures they're around 30 or the 30s right now 28 for Ironwood and as we look at our temperatures for tonight look for lows around 20 or, tw or the 20s for interior sections around 30 or the 30s near the shorelines of the Great Lakes. For Marquette and Marquette County, temperatures will be in the 40s for Saturday, but 30s inland for Sunday and remaining chilly, but the weather should be a little bit quieter for Monday and Tuesday. For the eastern UP, rain and wind for Saturday and then some rain or snow showers for Sunday. Temperatures through the weekend around 40 or the 40s for highs. Delta County and Escanaba, we're looking at temperatures around 50 for Saturday, but back into the 40s for Sunday and also Monday along the Wisconsin and border temperatures on Saturday in the 40s and then 30s for highs on Sunday and Monday and then for the Keweenaw Peninsula we're looking at temperatures that will be in the 40s for Saturday 40s for Sunday perhaps only in the 30s inland areas on Sunday as well and also for Monday Becca back to you